Good morning. My name is John Giltonan. I'm the curator for the uh, vintage car collection here at the Elliott Museum in Stewart, Florida. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about one of the cars from the museum's collection and then we're going to take it out and drive it around a little bit uh, so that you can see what it looks like from uh, behind the wheel. Hopefully we'll get back in one piece. Today I've uh, selected a wonderful car for us to talk about. It's a 1961 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 75 nine-passenger sedan. It's a real space-age car. It's a very rare car, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy this. These are beautiful handcrafted cars. They only made about 700 of these cars. I'll walk around a little bit, point out some of the features, and then we'll take her for a ride. The Cadillac was uh, restyled in 1961. They featured these wonderful round parking lights. The grill has these uh, polished bullets in it. The details throughout the car are just really fun. It has these uh, turn indicator repeaters up here on the front fenders. You have the wheel covers which are color keyed to match the, uh, the paint color. As we walk down the side of the car, you'll note that the uh, side fin, which is called a skeg fin, starts up here on the front fender and runs the whole length of the body. This was a feature that they adopted from a fighter jet airplane. And I think this car has the best tail fins of any car ever made. I just love this car. These uh, pods are styled after uh, jet airplane afterburners, and if you look at the detail on these lights, it's just incredible the uh, the amount of uh, small details they put into these cars. The car has dual air conditioning systems in it. It's got a air conditioning system in the dashboard, and it has a second one mounted in the trunk for the rear seat passengers. The air comes out through diffusers in the headliner, and these scoops right here are the fresh air intakes for the rear air. The interior of this car is really designed for the rear seat passengers. You have these footrests, which are adjustable. It has a center armrest. The controls for the power windows and the reading lights are in the armrest here. In the armrest on the other side are the controls for the rear air conditioning unit. And you have these pull-out jump seats, which can seat an additional three passengers. Now this car technically is not a limousine. The limousine had a glass division window between the front and rear compartments. This is called a nine-passenger sedan. So the nine-passenger sedan did not have the division window, and it used the same upholstery in the front and the rear compartment. The limousine would have had black leather upholstery in the front compartment. These cars were used by corporations to drive their executives to the airport. Uh, they were used by wealthy individuals. They were used by upscale funeral homes, and they were used by diplomats uh, to ferry uh, themselves around uh, New York City and Washington, D.C. That's where you commonly would have seen a car like this. This car has an interesting feature. The, the body's modified on this car. The standard Series 75 sedan had a quarter window right here. This car had the quarter window closed in and a padded vinyl top added. I don't know if that was done when the car was brand new or if it was done a little later. The reason for it was to give a little bit of additional privacy for the back seat passengers. So that's an interesting feature. This car has a 390 cubic inch overhead valve high compression V8. It produces 325 horsepower, which it needs to haul this big body around. 
The engine was introduced in 1949, uh, and they designed it in such a way that they could increase the displacement and increase the horsepower as uh, higher quality fuels became available during the 1950s. So the engine was in production from 1949 through the end of 1963, and it's a wonderful engine. I have a 1949 Cadillac that has the original version of this engine in it, and it sounds just like this one. It has a four-speed hydromatic transmission, which was the first fully automatic transmission in the world. General Motors brought it out in late 1939 on the Oldsmobile, and then quickly adopted it onto the Cadillac. And in the early 50s, if you wanted a, a car with a big V8 engine and an automatic transmission, uh, Cadillac owned the market. And a lot of the other car companies were forced to buy automatic transmissions from General Motors until they were able to develop their own. Many of the cars in the museum's collection came to us with names, and we've tried to keep those names going. This car was named Persephone. Persephone is the Greek goddess of the underworld. So when you have a car with a name like that, you better uh, have some healthy respect for it, because there was a reason that somebody gave it that name. So I try to take very good care of these cars and treat them with a kid glove. And hopefully Persephone will um, return us to the museum from our ride without any uh, unanticipated issues. She's equipped with all the features you would expect. She's got automatic transmission, power steering, power brakes, front and rear air conditioners, uh, power windows, power seats, AM, FM signal seeking radio. Uh, very nice car. This car has never really been restored. It has uh, the original upholstery and the original carpeting still uh, in place. But what happens with these cars is the foam stuffing in the seats uh, disintegrates over time, and that's happened on this car. So the seats are sitting down a little lower than they should, and what we're going to have to do at some point is send it to an upholstery shop and have them very carefully take the original upholstery off, replace the stuffing, and then put the original upholstery back on. I love the design of the steering wheel and the shift lever and the dashboard. It's all very space age. You can tell they were looking at jet aircraft when they designed all this stuff. And uh, they're just marvelous cars. It drives smooth and quiet. Doesn't get very good gas mileage, but then it wasn't supposed to. The Elliott Museum operates the historic House of Refuge Museum, which is coming up here on the right. These uh, Houses of Refuge were built by the United States Life Saving Service to uh, care for people who had been washed ashore in shipwrecks. And they were all up and down the east coast of Florida. And this is the only one that's left. So uh, it's worth a visit sometime. If you come to the Elliott Museum, you might want to stop by over here and see the House of Refuge as well. This car really, for an unrestored car, it runs and drives very, very nicely. It's very smooth, very quiet. 
and quite powerful, especially considering the size of the car. The wheelbase on this car is 149.8 inches. A standard Cadillac wheelbase was 130 inches, which was still quite large, but this thing is just enormous. I think the car is about 22 feet long. When you arrive in this baby, you get noticed. I wish the designers at Cadillac today would look a little more closely at cars like this because this car really has presence and um, they were beautifully designed, they were beautifully constructed uh, and Cadillacs today are good cars but they just don't have the uh, cachet that a car like this had back in the early 60s. Surprisingly, in the 50s and even into the 1960s, there were a number of private owners who chose to drive these big Series 75 Cadillacs because they, that's what they've always driven. They liked it. They liked having the extra seating capacity. When I was a kid, one of my friend's grandmothers drove one of these things every day, and she didn't have a chauffeur. She just liked having a big car. Uh, and you know, it's a different world today. When we started talking about doing this uh, series of driving videos, I was thinking about our acquaintance Wayne Carini and his car show, Chasing Classic Cars. And I thought it might be fun to call this Cursing Classic Cars, but uh, I don't want to step on uh, anybody's toes. So we'll, uh, we'll call it Curating Classic Cars.